Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're ranking the 10 Ray Merciless Mercer best knockouts. Number 10. Ray Mercer vs Brian Scott. On October 13, 2001, Mercer beat Brian Scott by knockout at 0.57 in round 2 of 10. Be a force. You know, he's back, he's in good shape, he's still got the power, and he still wants to do it. It's about, first of all, he's got to get a victory. A defeat here would be probably the end of his career. He needs to beat people from Mercer. He looks to be carrying a bit of condition, frankly, himself at 16 stone. A bit of trouble here. He is, you know. Caught with a left hook too. Suddenly Brian Scott will start to head in that first round and Scott's going for it. Scott who reckons I'll win or lose early it seems to me. Now Mercer's got to pick it up here. Can he do it? Yes he can. And down goes Scott. Takes a close look at him. He shakes himself. And Mercer is going for it now. Well, Mercer had to have a big Oh another going. big right. Another big right. That might be it. Scott might not get up this time. He's badly shaken. I don't think he's going to make it. It's over. It's all over. Number 9. Ray Mercer vs. Jimmy Haynes. On December 18, 1999, Mercer beat Jimmy Haynes by knockout at 0.43 in round 1 of 10. 38. Because of his illness in one way, he told me, you know, I've never been really hurt in the ring, which is in my favor. So at my age, now that I feel 100% better, and I'm still not in peak shape, he's the first to admit he needs to lose a few more pounds to get himself in more peak shape before he's ready to move in to top 10 competition. But this guy is a world-class fighter and a world-class banger still. Oh, oh there man. he goes. He nailed Jimmy Haynes. Haynes may be hurt already. Wild right uppercut. Haynes back on his heels, Carl. He is in trouble, and I tell you, there he goes. He's down, and Ray comes to the corner. Now, I don't think this guy wants to continue the way he's crawling around. It's up to four, and five, and six. He's not going to be able to continue. Ray is a guy that has a jab. Nailed him with a real good shot here, Carl. Oh, yeah, he came out with just a couple stiff jabs, and, and then when the guy swung and missed, bam, countered with a right hand. That was the, the second biggest punch of that round. Number eight. Ray Mercer vs. Tracy Thomas. On August 15, 1989, Mercer beat Tracy Thomas by knockout at 209 in round one of six. The multi felt. That's right. No, that's true. And comes out with a quick right hand to start things. He said he will not be bullied by Ray Mercer. Incidentally, on Mercer's trucks, this Project Pride. Project Pride is an organization here in Newark. Ray Eisenberg, who many of you know, syndicated columnist. That's columnist from New York. Newark Star Ledger. It says they have recreational centers. They provide college scholarships, 320 scholarships so far. Ramit. And he's with a fighter who started off for everything else. One win, one of the right wins, and in great shape. Two left hands by Mercer, and that hurt Thomas. An uppercut behind it, another right hand. He backhands him with a left hand. And another right hand. And another. And down goes Thomas in a heap. Mercer let Thomas open up. When he did, he countered. It's over. Number 7. Ray Mercer vs. Mario Colley. On August 23, 2003, Mercer beat Mario Colley by knockout at 108 in round 3 of 10. Good. It's not going to make this a sloppy affair. He wants to be a professional prize fighter. Colley is down with an uppercut. Colley really was just totally intimidated by Ray.
number 6. Ray Mercer vs. David Hopkins. On May 16, 1989, Mercer beat David Hopkins by knockout at 107 in round 1 of 4. Increase his strength and flexibility. Showed a good jab there, snapping ahead of Hopkins back a couple of times. David Hopkins keeping his hand low and his chin high up. But the other way, I think it probably worked better. Yes, it would. Oh, big shot with the right hand by Mercer. Well, Mercer's not going to have any trouble hitting David Hopkins. We'll find out. The chin David has. And whether Mercer's punches are going to do anything to him. Yeah, you mentioned at the beginning of the show when we talked with Mercer this morning, he was really upset with the article that appeared in Sports Illustrated saying basically that Riddick Bowl was all that week. Yeah, right now, as far as David Hopkins is concerned, Mercer is enough. And down goes Hopkins. Target practice. Yeah, it's, you know. And it's over. That was... Ladies and gentlemen, the official time. Referee Sean Curtin reaches the count of 10 at one minute. Now you see Ray Mercer the pounding the victory. Number 5. Ray Mercer vs. Ken Crosby. On June 12, 1989, Mercer beat Ken Crosby by knockout at 2.45 in round 1 of 6. Big bomb. He looks like that. Handle him, and he sees it as his opportunity to impress. That hook to the body by Mercer. Ray Mercer learned to box in the Army. Very mature young man. It's Eyes set firmly on a heavyweight championship. Nice. Short punches inside by Mercer. Mercer wants to take this guy out of here. Nice, nice play. Crosby trapped in the corner over there. The wrong, then just trying to fight it back. He did something wrong. Mercer lands to the back of the head of Crosby. Now works on the body. Crosby in all kinds of trouble here. Not punching back. Down he goes. I don't think the big guy is going to make it up. First round knockout. Number 4. Ray Mercer versus Tony Willis. On August 12, 1993, Mercer beat Tony Willis by TKO at 211 in round 1 of 10. Yeah, pretty high for him. Up over 200 pounds. Right away starting out with a lot of movement. He's got to win some friends back. There's the jab of Ray Mercer, which you remember he knocked Larry Holmes down with all oh my. This isn't going to go far, I can promise you that. Willis is still in big, big trouble. Mercer just looking to finish. Willis really, you could have said that was a knockdown. There's a left hand that drives Willis almost through the ropes, and this time that's down. And he's still in trouble. He has no legs at all. It will take just one more punch from Mercer. Next big punch Mercer lands will be the last of this fight, I yeah, agree. No question. And that might have been it right there. That's it, it's over. First punch of the fight put him down. And the last punch of the fight might have been the best. Number 3. Ray Mercer versus Don Steele. On March 17, 2001, Mercer beat Don Steele by knockout at 2.59 in round 5 of 10. We saw with Adam Richards making his uh, debut. That was a uh, good but I know he wants to unload that right hand. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it was due to his inability to get really psyched. Therefore, he wouldn't get in real great shape for them like that Jesse Ferguson fight. Richards, it takes you years to learn how to do this thing. There's a left hand stagger steal. When so many others just simply cannot. Starting to bring the right hand a little bit more frequently. I'm not sure Donald Steele is going to... That jab just really making a mess of Steele's face. And Steele goes out of the ring, down onto the floor. And it was from a body shot. This is the second straight time that Ray Mercer has knocked the man out. Number 2. Ray Mercer versus Francesco Damiani. On January 11, 1991, Mercer beat defending WBO heavyweight title Francesco Damiani by knockout at 247 in round 9 of 12. 1987, and Mercer fought two years later and knocked out in one round. Blackluster first round, Damiani's finding the range now. 
really not much there. Mercer really, he is laying the jab out there though, Mercer. That's why Damiani is getting, Damiani actually got the better of that exchange with a right hand. That right hand by Mercer was out this way, a right hand and two left hands behind it. Oh, there's the good body work by Mercer on the inside. Nice uppercut by Mercer. And look what it set up for him. This is what Mercer should be doing, but boy, Francesco Damiani doesn't back up an inch, does he? Strong jab by Mercer. Wow. Gave him lots of trouble. He ended up winning. Since then, he's had some, had some problems. He may have hurt Damiani with that I, right hand. He hurt him with a body shot is what I think he hurt him with. Well, Damiani walked into the left hand. Mentioning that this does not appear to be a case of what Mercer isn't doing. It's not where Ray gets his best leverage. Well, he's body shot by Damiani there with the right hand. And a glancing blow. I didn't think that that was a big shot at all. And Damiani wow. goes down and has given no indication of getting up. He got in the eye, I think. Hey. Wow. wow. My Number one. Ray Mercer versus Tommy Morrison. On October 18, 1991, defending WBO heavyweight title Mercer beat Tommy Morrison by TKO at 0-28 in round 5 of 12. Mercer seven thrown by Mercer nine landed 25 landed for Morrison and Mercer sneaks another right hand and Mercer now comes on the attack with two right hands oh good left hand for Mercer and the right the left hand for Mercer and now the Mercer crowd comes to his support and Mercer lands the right from Mercer like I said, he looked real anxious and uptight at the beginning of this fight, and that'll wear you out in itself, just that nervousness. And now Mercer on Morrison in the corner, and Mercer's all over, and Morrison in trouble! And Morrison goes down for the first time! It is it! Is over. Ray Mercer has won it! He successfully defended his WBO Heavyweight Championship! Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.